Okay, evening everybody. Coach Claire here, Tuesday night session. And um, we're all about mobility, stability and activation as our normal session is on a Tuesday. So you need mini bands, a long band for the warm up, small dumbbells, either two kilos, three kilos, something really light or cans of uh, beans or something will do instead. So make sure you've got clear floor space, nothing over your head that you can reach up and hit. So we're just going to get our warm up going, just mobilization to start with. So just get a little bit of marching on the spot just to free everything off. And we're going to go into eight reps of all the mobility warm up exercises. So we're going to go knee hugs to quad stretches, Frankenstein walks and leg swings, T spine mobility. Uh, pigeon walk and then some upper body arm stuff and then we're going to move into some glute activation. So let's start with knee hug to quad stretch. So starting off with the balance straight away. So you're going on to one leg. Standing up tall, hug that knee right up to the chest and then take it into a quad stretch and step down. So eight reps. Let's go. One, take it round, hold that balance, lift up tall. Two, squeezing the glute on the standing leg. Lift up, three. Four. Start my watch. Five. Six, hold that balance. Seven. One more. Eight. Okay, into Frankenstein walk. So arms straight out in front. We're going to do eight straight ones and then eight diagonal. So don't force the leg too high. Don't want you to pull any hamstrings, but we're just mobilizing. Three, four, five, nice and tall. Six, don't lean forward. Seven, eight, change across. Seven, eight, might have done an extra one there. Onto one leg, straight into leg swings. Do about four to the front and then four across. And then you need to get that balance going to go across body. Stay tall through the hips, into the ribs. Four on each side, change legs. Swinging it through, four, three, and then taking it across, get your balance and cross body. I almost find this hard. <laughs> okay, into pigeon, pigeon walk. So up tall, knee comes up, put your hand on it, grab your foot, bring it across to the opposite hip, really lift up tall and get that hip opened out and the glute stretch. Eight reps. Two, my knee is not going out to the side, it's staying in alignment. Lift up, three. Four, this is nice to do after that hard bike session yesterday. Five, stretch those glutes. Six. Two more. Seven. And eight. Okay, T-spine mobility rotation now. So this requires a little bit more balance. So we're gonna change the movement on the upper body. So onto one foot, engage that glute, lift the knee up, grab it with the opposite hand. This arm's going out behind you and you're rotating. Very hard to demo that slowly. So lift up, rotate round, eight reps. Do them at your own pace, don't rush them. So lifting that knee up. Rotate round. Keep it going. Work that balance. It's quite tricky, this one. It gets better the more you do it, though. Let's have another two. Up, stretch round. One more. Okay, right, shut those legs up. Little bit of upper body now, so let's just get those arms back. Big range of movement. Fall back, fall forward, 
chest openers for four. And then on the diagonal for four. So reaching up for four. And then change direction. And then shoulder rolls back. Open them right out, four reps. And then take them forward as well. Okay, grab your long band, thera band or large loop band, doesn't really matter. We're just going to get that over the head, full range of movement through the shoulder. So taking it up and over. A couple more reps. And then we'll start some blue activation. Okay, right, so we are going crab walks to start with. So you need mini bands. So depending on how good you are at doing these, you can use, I'm using my medium, my blue one for this. The further down the leg goes on these, the harder it tends to be. So I'm going to go mid shin, sort of just above the ankles for my first set. If you're really strong, you can put it under your feet, but we'll do that for the second set. So maybe start mid shin and then move lower down. So your start position, shoulders back and down, semi squat position, pelvic floor squeezed up, glutes squeezed. Upper body's gonna stay still and we're gonna drive that band out to the side. So depending on what space you've got, we want 20 reps in total, just make sure it's the same amount on each side. So get into a good strong position and let's push that band out. Squeeze in the glutes. Everybody count for 20. Upper body stay still. Walk back the other way. Push it out. Keep everything engaged. You can take the squat a little bit deeper if you want to. Keep it going. Don't look, remove the tension off the band. I've lost count now. I think I've got about four more. I'll just walk back this way. Okay. So if you need to, if that was too easy for you, you need to change your resistance or change position, you can. So you can go under the instep. If you want to make it slightly harder for the second round, or if you found that too hard, and you're doing this to get the movement, then change position, bring it higher up the leg or drop the resistance band down the level. Right, second set of 20, get ready and drive it out. Remember to breathe, this is harder. Keep it going. That's 10 for me. Keep working. So think about the movement. I'm really feeling it now. Last one for me. 20 reps done. Oh, shake your legs out, grab a quick drink. Yeah, and we're still going to work the glutes from the target glute mead. Get these nice muscles working. I'm going to do that standing with your band. I'm going to do a standing fire hydrant and we're going to extend the leg back as well. So the band needs to be just below the knees. So for this one, to make sure that you are doing it properly, not worrying about wobbling, you can just put a hand on the wall. So band is here, supporting leg, slightly bent, soft knee, squeeze that right glute get nice pressure into the floor with the foot. So what we're going to do is extend the knee out to the side. It's got a bend in it. So we're going out to the side and from the side, we're going to squeeze it back and you're going to get it right in glute mead here. And we're going to do that five times, but each time you take it back and you extend back, you're going to pulse two, three, and four pulses and bring it back in again. So this supporting knee needs to stay strong and not get pulled and drift inwards. So we're working 
knee stability on this exercise as well as targeting these glutes. Okay, so band under the knees, everything nice and tight down the side, glute squeeze and extend out to the side, back and pulse. One, two, three, four, back in. Take it out, extend back, keep all this strong and pulse. One, two, three, four. It's only a little movement. You're not swinging the leg back and you're not moving the lower back. Keep going, this is rep number three. Oh, I'm feeling it on this supporting leg now and right in here. Let's go, rep four. One, two, three, four. Last one, then you get a little bit of recovery. Extend to the side, extend back. One, two, three, four, and down. I hope you lot are feeling that because I'm getting it right in my bum. Both sides. March your legs out, I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so, standing on the left leg, up tall, glute engaged. Hoping I can do this without holding onto the wall. Okay, extend to the side, and back, and pulse. One, two, three, four. Back in. Out, back, and pulse. One, two, three, four, it's definitely a lot harder with no wall to hold. So I would definitely advise holding the wall. One, two, three, four. Because on this exercise, we want these glutes firing. Keep pressing out that knee on the supporting leg. Don't let it drift. Keep going out, stand back and pulse. One, two, three, Four. I think there's one more. Sorry if I've made you do extra. Extend and go. One, two, three, four, and back. That wasn't five reps. Do an extra one. I lost count. Oh, shake that out. Ooh. Right, I'm going to get down onto the mat now. So we're going to go kneeling position. Again, still working these glutes. Give you a demo. So box position, kneeling on the floor, like this. Nice and square, flat back, core pulled in. Do it from the front so you can see. So we're gonna go knee to the side. So we come up, knee is bent, and then staying stable, I just want you to take that leg out, straight to the side, to here, and then without moving your body and rocking, four little pulses straight upwards. Bend it, take it back in. Up to the side, straighten, lift, before, back in. And you're gonna feel it right in glute VT. So we will do five reps on each side. So nice strong box position, hands under the shoulders, core engaged like you would if you were doing a dead bug, nice and strong. Let's get ready, lift the knee to the side, extend, now pulse, one, two, three, four, bend back in and lower. Lift, extend, pulse, one, two, three, four, bend back in. Number three, lift, extend, one, two, three, four, bend back in and down. Lift up, extend, one, two, three, Oh, I should be feeling this now. Last one. Lift, extend. One, two, three, four. Bend back in. Bit of recovery. Well done. I'm going to do the other side. Oh, right. Okay. Brace position. Changing sides. Engage your core and knee up. Extend. Lift. One, two, three, four, come back down, knee up, straighten, lift, one, two, three, four, and down, number three, extend, lift, and down, two more to go, this is all about hip stability, getting those glutes nice and strong, 
so that every time you hit the floor running, you're not dropping the hips. You've got nice strong glutes to hold you into position. Hand rest. Oh, well done. Sit back on your heels. Going to need the band for the next exercise. We're going to go donkey kicks. So you don't have to use a band for this. You can do it without. But the band is going to go just above the knees. I'm going to choose a black one. Again, I might regret this. It might be a little bit too intense. So same position as we were just in. Knees are apart. You're going to flex your foot. Lift the sole of the foot to the sky. Squeeze up. Lower back down. Lift, squeeze. When you get up there, give it that extra squeeze. What I don't want to see is this flexing through the lower back. So you've got a brace. It's a little movement. We're getting to there and we're going right. Squeezing that glute and lift. You're going to do 10 on each side. Okay, so brace, get ready and lift one and down. Lift two and down. Pulse up three and down. Four and down. Five. Six, keep that core under control, squeeze your bum. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Sit back and we're going to do the same on the other side. So core brace, get ready and go. Lift, squeeze it up against that resistance. Two, three, four, five, keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Great, sit back, a little bit of recovery. Oh, we're going to go into bridge position next, but we're just going to have our feet slightly differently. So we did normal bridge last week, this week we're going to do butterfly, so it just means your feet are together and your knees are wider like butterfly wings. So the soles of the feet stay together, the band can stay up around your knees and the same principle is you're activating the glutes. So you're going to come up into bridge position with the pressure on these knees, pulse out and lower, come up, squeeze and lower. When you're up, be careful not to arch through the lower back. Keep it nice and straight. So you can do 10 of these, and then that's it on the glute work. Do some balance after that. So gaze through the pelvic floor, brace the core, peel up. Keep that resistance on the band. Give it a pulse out and back down. Keep that resistance. Push the knees out against the band. Squeeze and down. So squeeze your glutes. Squeeze them tight. Three. Hand down, coming up, four, don't rush them, control the movement, squeeze, five, six, seven, should be really feeling it in here now, I am, eight, Nine, one more to go. And 10, and down, hook your knees in, end of that set. Whew. Right, band off. You're gonna get the balance working now. So you need your little dumbbells or your cans. In my case, cans of coconut milk. So, when we're running, we want all this trunk nice and stable. We've got the arms driving off. And we want to keep that nice, stable core, stable hips. So we're going to use some weight. So you can use dumbbells, it's fine, as long as you can control the movement. We're going to be on one leg. 
So we're going to be here, foot flexed, almost in our running position, but we're going to take the body off balance by moving the arms. So we're going to do 20 punches forward. We're going to go over the head for 20. And then we're going to challenge you a little bit more with holding stability as you go across the body. So the key is a little bit of softness in that knee that's um, the foot side that's on the floor. Squeeze the glute, engage the core, shoulders are back, and just get that really good solid position. So some of you might find this easy. I don't. Let's give it a go. So up tall, onto one leg. Let's go with 20 punches forward. Squeeze that glute, stable, go. <laughs> keep going get to 20 hold that balance let's go over the head make sure you don't punch your light fittings just check go up hold oh your core this is rubbish for me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm wobbling all over the place oh Oh, crikey, shake my legs out. Get the across one though. So this is the hardest one now because we're rotating the body. So we want to control that rotation with the core. Keep it stable. Ready? Go across, go. You can rotate the upper body a bit. Just don't fall over. Oh, there's some good wobbling I can see going on the screen now. That's making me feel better. On the few that I can see and rest. All oh, right, okay, so I'm burning massively here. I can also feel it coming down through my leg into my foot. All those stabilizing muscles are working really hard. Well done, everyone. I wish I could see all of you, make me feel a lot better. Right, okay, other leg. So up tall, shoulders back and down, slight knee bend, squeeze that glute, plant that foot, bring that, let that right knee up. Get ready, 20 forward, let's go. Engage that core. Oh God, six, eight, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hope you're not using me as a point of balance because I'm going to send your eyes off wobbling up overhead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Keep going, but you will beat me. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we stabilize, get your position before we go across. Core engaged. This is definitely hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, well done. That was tough. Okay. So that just shows you, Mark, like we all know this. I've said it low side, the left side, rubbish. Right side's much better with balance. So it just flags up and it also makes you realize quite how unstable you are when your arms go off. So when we're running, we want to be really stable when we're forward. So if we can get everything strong, get the hips stabilized, when we land, we'll have less of that going on and more of a nice solid land and a drive forward. That is why it's so important to be doing these. Okay, we did this last week. I had some comments that this was really hard. So this was the arabesque. So it's basically forward lean, taking the leg back, reaching forward, holding that balance, and then bringing it back up to a knee drive. So we want 10 on each leg. Same principle, use your glute muscles to stabilize. Foot is up in that run position. You're going to stretch forward. Let's go over, stretch back, squeeze the glute, squeeze this glute on the extended leg as well. Come back up. 10 reps on each leg. Two, try not to open out this hip. You will focus on keeping this press down, pointing at the floor. Keep working through them. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Oh, that's halfway. My feet are burning. Keep working, hold that balance. Oh, 
Seven, get a few more out, get to 10. Two more. Oh, really burning now. Squeeze your bum muscles. There's number 10. Flick the legs out. Oh, well done. I'm trying to do the other leg now. Okay, regain, get strong, squeeze that glute, extend the other leg back. Let's go, hinging over, reach forward, push that hip forward on that extended leg so you're not opening out. Hip bones pointing to the floor, squeeze the glute, push it down. Keep it going all the way to 10. Oh, I think I'm getting slightly better at this. Halfway. Oh, she says, with big wobble. Doesn't matter how fast you do these, it's about the control of those muscles. I've got three left, keep going. Do some extra ones if you finished. Two more. Oh. oh, last one. I can't wait to get my weight off this supporting leg. Oh, oh good job. Take some water on if you're done. Hmm. Okay, just got time for five minutes. So we just go through a little core routine for the uh, plank position. So we're gonna go into plank position. We're gonna go 10 toe lifts, lifting from the glute. So you're gonna be in plank position, 10 toe lifts, into 10 side taps. Then we're gonna go lift out to the side and back down, alternate each side for 10. Spider-Man knees out to the side. And then we're done, we'll stretch out. So down into plank position on your forearms, nice and straight, alternating toe taps for 10, but firing that leg lift from that glute. Let's go, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, out to the side, one, two, three, Four, pull the belly button in. Five, six, nice and strong. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, lift out to the side and lower. Lift, keep it off the ground and lower. Lift, side and lower. Number four, out to the side. This is a hard one. Five, six, Seven, keep going. Eight, nine, one more. Ten. Okay, finish it with Spider Man. So we go knee, stay low to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. Okay, knees down, all done. A few stretches now, sit back on your feet. Oh, breathe, arms reaching forward, head to the mat. Whew. Just settle there for a second. Whew. Okay, come up onto all fours. You're going to slide your right knee forward, pigeon stretch, and you're just going to sink into that right hip, stretch that glute through, they've done quite a lot tonight. So if you want, relax down, 
maybe your leg at the front. If you want to extend the stretch, you can just move this foot a little bit further forward. And then you'll just feel it a little bit more. So find your point of stretch that suits you. Hold it there, take some deep breaths in through the nose. And out and sink into that stretch. Another few seconds on this side. And then slowly up, slide that leg back and switch it over. Left knee's coming forward. So sitting into that nice stretch. Again, position your foot so where you can feel the stretch. Shimmy it forward a little bit. Again, remember your breathing. Nice deep breaths in through the nose and then sink down. Oh. Holding it there. Another few seconds. And then use your hands, come back out of it. Back onto all fours, tuck the toes under, and then just push yourselves up into downward dog. Drop that head under and just feel a lovely stretch coming up the back of the legs. Lift the hips. And then walk the feet. Okay, then step your right foot forward, down with the left knee, come up. Oh, came up a bit quick then, a bit lightheaded. Um, hip flexor stretch. So I did this last week, we're just gonna do the hold this week. So pelvis needs to go under and then ease forward. Just opening up the front of that hip. You want to take that arm up in the air and just take it into a nice sideways lean so you extend that stretch up. And through the front of the hips, slightly into the obliques, but lift, don't collapse into this lift up with the ribs. Holding it there. Okay, change size. This is a key stretch. We're spending time on the bike or sat down. We close up the hip flexors and we need them nice and open for our extension on our run. So we want to keep the mobility through the hips. Again, stretch up, hinge it over. Holding it there, lifting up through the ribs. Okay, back down, come onto your toes, push back, walk the hands towards the feet, just hang there. And then soften the knees, engage the core, roll up. And you're all finished, well done everyone. I've worked up quite a sweat, even though that wasn't even jumping around. Good job, I will see you all next week.